Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to show you how you can do a live YouTube live webinar uh, via Google Hangouts. Really easy to set up and use. Um, and just the, probably the simplest way to do a webinar. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm doing a, well, we're, we're going to do some YouTube webinars coming forward about Zoho CRM. And I just wanted to show the guys I'm using with what we were going to plan to do, what was the easiest way to do. And it looks to me like the easiest way is YouTube Live uh, and then Google Hangouts. So, no further ado, you're going to go to your Creator Studio in your YouTube. Click on that, and then down the side, it'll say Live Streaming. If you drop, click on the drop-down arrow, it'll say Stream Now, Events, Camera. You want to go to Events, right? We're going to create a new event, so New Live Event. I'll uh, give it a title, a uh, live webinar series on YouTube, something like that, whatever it is. Create a time, uh, I'm going to say maybe next week at 5, and then you can finish next week at 6.14. It must be 6.14 now, yeah. Add in your spiel, um, live webinar series on how to you use YouTube live whatever it is add your tags so this is this is the interesting part of here is the quick version using Google Hangouts if you want to use funky things I've used oh, I can't remember what it's called now uh, I've used some other things that launch to um, to YouTube you, you can have remote apps that connect but the easiest way to do it is using Google live uh, advanced settings Enable live chat, you probably want to leave that if you want people to talk to you. There's post every 60 seconds. So if you wanted to slow them down, you could say don't don't let them fire. Um, don't let the same person chat more. Uh, have as many chats every 60 seconds. You've got to wait a minute before they can comment again. Standard, I just leave everything as set. Um, categories you may want to change. But I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy that the default for me is the way to go. There's going to be some funky settings for you, maybe, but I'm just going to create the event, right? So I didn't have to change much. I just named it, uh, put some spiel in, and then create the event. So it's going to create and add to this event, right? So a live webinar series on YouTube. So now I'm going to start out a Hangout. So here's my Google Hangout. You aren't live at this point, that was me. Sunday afternoon looking great um so that's me live now sorry this is me in my control panel for google hangouts i'm not live at this point so what i might what i want to do is invite uh, somebody to to join this um webinar i've never done one when i look at myself and i'm talking obviously if i want to just do a webinar with me talking um myself is the other computer that's beeping then just go start broadcast and fire away but i'm going to show you how to invite somebody else so i'm going to invite happy me golf oh hopefully my computer's about to take off so the audio might go a bit bad so i'm going to invite you i've got another computer here that's just got i've got gmail opened in fact i don't know if i can show you oh, i might be going into a world of Paradigm. Can't show you that, can I? Oh yeah. Oh, it went off. In this corner. Oh, it's upside down anyway. <laughs> In this corner, I've just got. I've just been invited to a hangout. So I'm going to accept the hangout. Video call from Paul. So in that corner, I'm going to get a. Uh, I'll just allow camera. I tried to do it on one computer, but it was just too much hassle. So I've got uh, some spiel saying agree. Okay, got it. I've got a camera coming up and a join button. So now I'm going to join on this other computer. Hello. Hello. Right, I'm going to get. I'm going to get feedback from both of these. Let me turn speaker off. Let me turn speakers off. Right. So now. It's going to flip between because both both of them can see me, right? If I just mute my microphone.
But when you're when you're obviously thousands of miles apart, the person who's talking will show up first, right? So if I go to console, I can actually talk to the person on the other side on in a chat box. It's going to come up on this one. So what we've got there is a, uh, let me, let me just mute. I'll just mute that one, then it won't keep flipping between because that one's not listening now. So what we've got there is, an, is, is a chat box that when we go live, the people that are presenting can talk privately. You know, um, sounds good. Um, they can't hear you. Don't forget to talk about blah, right? So you're going to be able to go and uh, internally and talk separately as to what you want to what you want to talk about. So when you're happy that that person's here, that you've got both of them on, you can obviously start your broadcast. You can obviously invite more people, but the people, the person who's talking, will generally take the screen. Um, so I'm going to start the broadcast. And you're going to be a little bit in front of that broadcast. Let's, let's have a look. Starting. Sometimes, yeah. So here we go. So it's going to play an advert. I had that monetization set. So if you want to put adverts on there and things, you can. Skip ad. So you're going to find that you're 30 seconds in front. So, but now we're live. So I'm going to jump back. All right, so I'm going to go back to the Hangout. So it's going to be funky trying to work out what's happening uh, in between the 30 second delay and, and you doing it. But obviously now I've got two people in this control panel. I can allow that other person, if I unmute them and mute me, to hopefully you can still hear me, to take control or be the presenter. So I go control panel and, oh. now where was allowing that person to be? The presenter. Oh, is it in settings? Oh, no. Oh, do I just click on that? Ah, I just click. You can see that I don't use, uh, Google Hangouts that much. So now I can say, present to everyone, to that person. On that, oh, I got the wrong person, it's this one. Present to everyone. So on that other screen, you are now presenting to everyone. I can go on the other screen and screen share and say, show my computer and share my computer. So now it goes into a world of Uh, zoom out because it's in a you know you've seen a loop but you can see this computer on the other screen now so that's the other the person on the other side is now presenting is now sharing all their information doing whatever they want to do I'll leave that open let's go to a website you know they can open their presentation they can open up their uh, whatever they want to do and then start to share it so that's obviously now sharing live on um, it, within the, the YouTube live channel I can't, it's always weird when I do stuff like this I always zone out because I've got two things going off I've got three things happening so also obviously down here there's you can ask questions You can, you know, monetize it, send a super chat. So if someone wants to pay, so when you've got a thousand subscribers, somebody can actually pay for a question. I just only paid 500 quid for a question with me. So if you wanted to, you could ask a super chat. And what I think that does is just bumps them up to the top and it leaves them on the top for a while. So obviously you've got to monitor the window with um, 
YouTube on as well, but you can monitor. Oh, you can make it smaller. So you can see that I'm live. You can see that now I can I can turn off that person being the um, the main presenter. I can unmute myself. Stop broadcast. Cameraman, so I can change settings within the Hangout. But basically, the Hangout controls everything I want to do. So if I wanted to open up my presentation and share it, it's just a happy me business one. I want to open up my main presentation and share it. Stop sharing. You're going to see how fast or how much behind that is. So I think it's about 30 seconds. I, if, I think in the settings you can actually change it. So this was more an introduction video on how you can do it rather than exactly how to do it because I'm still playing. But we're going to go live. We're going to go. Um, we're going to create a webinar series about Zoho CRM where I'll be hosting the the webinar on my um, channel. And then we'll be asking questions and we'll be sharing a place where we can ask questions. But basically all, what I'm saying, this is more for the guys at Mobix, for the guys that I'm going to be working with. Um, we can uh, share it live, we can go live and we can uh, uh, do everything we need to do via YouTube Live, Google Hangouts um, and we should be good with that. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I know it was a bit scatty. I, I may or may not share this because I knew it got flaky, but I want to show you how quickly and easy it is to go live on a webinar. Introduce, you know, we're going to do interviews. I'm going to do interviews with people, but it'll be a lot easier when I'm not sat in the same room as the other screen. Cool. Cheers, guys.